Hi everyone, welcome to Waterhouse Ford. Today we're going to be replacing the brake shoes, or putting the brake shoes back on for replacing the drums. But for any of you who uh, do this kind of work and um, do it reasonably regularly, you'll be very familiar with the fact that when you plan to do a job, you come down and you realize that there's other jobs that need doing beforehand. So you will recall the knuckle that goes on the end of the shaft. <coughs> we uh, cleaned it up, freed it up, made sure that it was fitting nicely on the shaft. Uh, but in that process, obviously, we removed most, in fact, all of the paint that was um, on, on the knuckle. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a problem in my throat today. Uh, so when I came to uh, get prepared to start doing this job, I remembered that we needed to paint that uh, knuckle. So I've um, been delayed in, uh, in getting that done. Uh, I'll take you over there and show you what I mean. So here's the, the knuckles and the shafts that sit in the back of it. Um, and that's the main reason why this had to be done before was because these shafts sit in the back um, up against the tractor and you wouldn't be able to get, get them out or get them painted. Certainly you wouldn't get this surface painted uh, when, when they're actually on the tractor. Now, you'll notice that I've just done a, a grey primer um, coat. I decided to use a spray, uh, a can, a, a spray can um, paint just to get them covered. Um, and to, yeah, obviously to protect them, to stop them from rusting. Um, now, what I did do is I put grease inside each of these holes. So even though it looks like they're painted, um, I'm hoping that that's just going to wipe out. What I didn't do, and I probably should have, is I didn't protect this whole shaft. I, I, put a, I put some tape around the bottom piece here. You can see there's tape there. And that's protected that, but I, I, honestly, I thought I was going to have enough control to uh, to just spray the bottom of this and not not actually get on the shop. But the weird thing about this can of spray primer is it doesn't come out like a normal spray uh, spray paint pattern. It actually comes out. It's a little bit like when you're using a hose. That's what it feels like. Yeah, your garden hose. It kind of comes out in a thick stream and it sort of splatters onto the part that you're painting. And I don't know if it's just the consistency, you know, the required consistency for the primer, whether I've got a dud can, maybe, I don't know. But it is quite strange. Anyway, it, look, it seems to have done a good job. The, um, the primer itself is nice, it's got a, it's got a lovely finish come out smooth even even though as I say it kind of sprays out like a it's literally large drops rather than a spray um, but it does it, you know it seems to have created a very nice finish which um, you can see you can imagine paint going on there you know, your top coat now going on there quite nicely so anyway quickly what I need to do then is just clean it clean this clean up these shafts and just get get rid of that paint and then obviously just clean inside those holes I hope that the, the grease that I put in there was enough for me literally just to be able to wipe it out. So that's what we're going to do now.
Well, there we go. That's um, all of those cleaned up, and obviously that now fits nicely or slides nicely into the knuckle as well. So we can put these back and uh, get on with putting the brakes together. And what I've done, I've left it uh, a little bit that way, probably more than it needs to be. Um, because what I want to do, I mean, that goes in there. And what I want to do is, um, oh, let me show you, let me move the camera. I think I showed you this on one of our other videos, but over here, obviously the end of the cross shaft is the activator, or actuator, so we call it, for the actual brake discs, uh, brake pads. So this dog here, is obviously the end of that shaft. What I don't know, can't recall, is whether that should be, whether there should be a clearance here between this backing plate and the end of the dog, or whether it should be right up. So what we'll do, we'll put the brake shoes on and see what makes most sense. In other words, how, how everything lines up. And then based on that, we'll adjust where that Uh, where that knuckle is actually sitting on the shaft, so relative to to the shaft here. So we'll get all that sorted out. Once, once that's all done, we'll get all the brake pads on, adjust that, and then what we'll do is we'll move this washer back against the backing plate over here and bring that spring in to hold it in place. Uh, so for now, or the, rather the next step really, is to get the brakes on, so we'll, we'll get on with that. I'm going to adjust the camera, try and get a good angle for you, and then I'll come back. Well, whilst editing this video, I realized that it was just going to be far too long. Um, so what I've decided to do is to cut this video into three parts. So this is part one. Uh, we'll finish it there, and uh, if you and we'll, we'll move on to part two. So join us in part two, and uh, we'll continue putting the brakes on.